Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm taking apart a Hantec USB oscilloscope, dual channel oscilloscope. It is a Hantec 6022BE and I'm just going to earth myself before touching it. It's a dual channel USB oscilloscope. Got it online for £47.99, delivered. Can't say where from, but it came from the internet. As most things do these days. It comes with two very nice, very tough, thick rubber boots on the end to protect it. Not sure if they're necessary, but I'd rather have them than not have them. So there we have it. We have two BNCs. Rather dirty looking BNCs, but looks. By the looks of it, what's that on there? Some sort of crustiness on the BNC sockets. I'm not sure what that is. Might give those a clean, I think. You have a calibration signal, test signal, and an earth terminal there. Um, and you have the other end, you have a USB socket. Just there. I hope this is the right way up for you. Let me try that way around. And you have a USB XI port, which is apparently a Hantec proprietary type of port. Let's get the cover off, that's what you want to see, isn't it? So I will open it from this end. Oh, there's like a plastic coating on there. there. Which hasn't been stuck down properly. Uh, the case is okay. They've, they've drilled the screws, screw holes, and the end, end cap a little bit close to the edge of the case, but never mind. It's $47.99. It's not $2,047.99, so I'll forgive them. Aren't I virtuous? Gracious. Get these screws out. See what makes it tick. I don't know much about oscilloscope chipsets, so um, pardon my ignorance when I open it. Just want to see what's inside. Well, obviously, obviously uh, a lot of you out there will know more about this than I do. What parts they use. But as with well, all my gadgets, I like, I like to see what makes them work. Not sure if this black plastic fascia coating on the back here is necessary. What well, is this cosmetic thing, isn't it? It's a uh, front's okay. Same same deal on the same deal on the front. They've sort of not quite stuck it down with good good enough adhesive, and the holes are drilled very close to the edge. But hey, whatever, whatever, it's okay. Get the final screw out. Camera's out of focus. Thank you, camera. Bit overexposed, but I'm not that fussy. I'm more interested in getting the content out there than per perfection and perfect editing. So I know people want to see inside stuff. As long as it's not filmed on a potato, as they say, you know. I don't want to have stuff that's filmed on a potato. Right. So, it's open. And now, I'm going to try and get the board out. Will it come out? It doesn't feel like it at first glance. Ah, right, okay. So, these BNC sockets are sort of hooked over the edge of the front. They're sort of, the edge of the flange of the BNC sockets are sort of catching on the edge of the plastic there, so I've got to... Let me try and set this exposure right. Don't lock that. Otherwise we're going to go over the place. Right, so I'm going to try and get these board out without... Maybe I'll wait. Maybe I'll just take the front off as well. Take the front off. Hmm. There's a hole there for a fan, look. Huh. 
Can you see that? Obviously one of their models or one of their products has a fan in it. I'm not a fan. No, I'm not. I'm a person. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's a good oscilloscope. I mean, it's not it's not got AC coupling on it. There's some sort of mod you can do to it with solid solid state relays and capacitors that I saw on the Open Handtech uh, page, but um, it's not got de it's not got AC coupling as standard. But I'm personally not sure how that affects me. I suppose if you're measuring it. If you're measuring AC signals a lot of the time, it affects you a lot. But uh, this is brand new. I've just had it about three days, so whatever. Let's get this out. Will this come out? Yes. There we go. Pull that front fascia off. Queen. Let's have a, have a squeeze. See what's going on here. As I said, I don't know anything about uh, subscribe chip sets whatsoever, so forgive my ignorance, but there you go, it's life. At least you see it. at least you're getting to see inside it. Um what chip set's that? Get my magnifying glass out and have a look. That is a CY, that's a Cypress, I think. Yeah, it's a Cypress CY7 C680-13A. Charlie Yankee 7, Charlie 68013 Alpha. Zoom right in, you see for yourself. Get the light right. You see that? Yeah. I'm not sure what that does. It looks like a lot of fun. <laughs> Morn Sun. What's that? Is that a relay? What's the component designator? Com component, de component designator. What does that say on there? U13. So it's some sort of IC. Hmm. Maybe it's a DC to DC converter. There seems to be a lot of flux residue on this board. Can you see that? There seems to be a lot of flux residue on there. Just not being cleaned off properly. Or at all. Got two earthing springs. One there. <laughs> and one there. And uh, two trim caps there, one per channel. These chips here, I presume they're DAX, no, sorry, ADCs. Um, 74HC4051D. Uh, no, it doesn't sound like it, does it? Have a look on uh, Google, see what that is. Have a gander quickly. 4051D. Okay. Multiplexer switch ICs. Ah, right. So, on this chip here, there's a tiny little heat sink. Can you see that there? It's a tiny little heat sink here. Um, lots of unpopulated uh, lands here. An unpopulated ship there. Lots of unpopulated uh, diodes here. And resistors here. Some sort of header or jumper here. Yeah, header. Um, yeah, these BNC sockets look really filthy. You know what's happened there? Well, it's made down to a price, isn't it? It's built down to a price. It's uh, China. There we go. Anyway, that's inside that. Enjoy your evening. God bless you.